Welcome to another episode of Your Time Matters. I am your host, Tamron, joining you here each week with a cup of delicious healthy tea. And there is a combination of special food ingredients inside my teacup this week. So I'm going to encourage you to stay tuned until the end of this video as I share with you why I chose to put one very specific ingredient inside my magical teacup this week to help balance my emotional energy that might be triggered for me and maybe also for all of you out there. Each week, I'm here to guide you and educate you about what is happening in the astrological sky and how it might be affecting all of us down here on the planet on a personal and an emotional level. As a top Canadian astrologer, I'm here to share with you that we have this phenomena that happens approximately every 18 months in the astrological sky. And this has to do with the planet of Venus, where she appears to move backwards in the sky. And this is called a retrograde cycle. So Venus is retrograde from now until the early shadow period post shadow of October. So what does this mean for all of us, especially if you're not a certified astrologer? Well, what that means is that there might be some communication breakdowns that are occurring during this window of time. And when this happens, I'm going to share with you, it is not negative. As an astrologer, I'm here to share that this is an opportunity for growth and for all of us to communicate and ask for what it is that we really want inside of those relationships, whether that's showing up in your personal life or even in your business affairs, because this is where the healing occurs is when we find the courage to stand up for ourselves, to stand up for what we value and what we feel that we're worth in these relationships. And also, as promised, I'm here to share with you the reason why I put ginger inside of my teacup this week is because ginger has the emotional healing properties of finding courage. So if you are feeling like you can't ask for what it is that you want, even though you need to stand up for yourself, this is the food healing property that will give you that courage and to really stimulate that energy because it has a, a, a movement energy in it. And so it gets things moving. It gets your mind and your thoughts and your body moving. And so that's how you can stand up and ask for what it is that you want. And also what I'm going to recommend that you do just as a bonus is to start writing down what it is that are your core values that represent you in some of these personal relationships and be open to listening to what other people's core values are and see if you can create a win-win scenario if there's any communication breakdown occurring. And again, if you've enjoyed the information that I've shared with you here this week, I'm going to encourage you to come back again for another episode of Your Time Matters. If you are a woman and you have been experiencing some of these communication breakdowns during this Venus retrograde that is happening from June 19th right through until October the 3rd, I'm going to encourage you to click on the social links or the email below that's associated with this video because I have created a beautiful and a brilliant 28-page mini digital guidebook just to give you some advice and how to manage this Venus retrograde. So it's just written for this Venus retrograde cycle here in 2023. And the best part is it's just under five bucks US. So that link is also going to be below where you can purchase your copy. And again, there's some bonus content available inside of it. And for every single person that buys a copy of this digital mini guidebook, your name is going to go into a draw and you can win a personal one-on-one -on -one Zoom video conference call with me one of the top Canadian astrologers, and we're going to focus on 
your Venus and your Mars placements in your own astrological birth chart. So I can guide you and teach you what it is that you need based on your own astrological birth chart. And this is the information that's based on the day you were born and when you took your first breath. So Venus and Mars are in a specific area of the sky and it represents what you need to feel loved in your relationships. So again, click on the information below, share this video with anyone that you feel can benefit from the information that I've shared with you. And also inside of that guidebook, I'm going to share some do's and don'ts, some things you would not want to do during a Venus retrograde cycle, and also some of the things that you can do to enhance the planet of Venus, who is retrograde right now in the astrological sky. So again, I look forward to meeting you. All of the links are below and cheers again until next week. Bye-bye.